Hi, I'm James Norton, Chow.com Super Taster, and as you probably know, I'm a guy who likes beer. Now, fortunately for me, I live in the uh, the Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, where there is no shortage of good craft beer available just about anywhere you go. But that's not always the case. Maybe you're in a small town, maybe you're in a part of the country that hasn't embraced the craft brew revolution. If that's the case, then... Uh, on tap liquid beer enhancer may have your back. That's what we're going to find out today. What is on tap? If you know Mio, those little squeeze bottles that you shoot into your water to turn it into a delightful fruit beverage, uh, this is the beer equivalent. I, uh, it's uh, water, propylene glycol, which is also used as an antifreeze, but is very food safe, I'm, I'm assured, uh, and natural and artificial flavors. It's going to impart a rich, maltiness and or hoppiness into otherwise undistinguished domestic beer. Now before we taste it, a uh, note on price. It's available online, uh, $13 with postage and handling for uh, two of these little guys, each of which supposedly flavors up to an 18-pack of uh, weak American domestic lager. So I went to the, the liquor store in search of something that might benefit from uh, On Tap's flavoring. Is what I came up with, Keystone Light. I haven't had it before. Seems like the right idea. Let's just uh, give it a taste. Oh yeah, this could use some help. All right, here's the Keystone Light. Here's the uh, Pale Ale on tap liquid beer enhancer. It smells a little more distinct. Oh, what is that? So it kind of tastes a little bit like graham crackers uh, chased by a sour lemon. I mean, I understand what they're going is we're adding malt, we're adding hops, so there's going to be a breadiness injected and a, uh, a bite injected to this, but it does not taste like a craft beer. It tastes like something I want to pour down the sink. Uh, thumbs down on the pale ale. Let's try the American ale. Again, Keystone Light. Just going back to the unadulterated Keystone Light, at least I understand the perspective of this beverage. Um, but who knows, maybe the American Ale is going to taste a little better. It's a little more floral, a little more legitimately malty. Well, maybe this is progress. The American Ale plus the Keystone Light, I think, is a better Keystone Light. Now the thing is, compared to an actual craft beer, this is still not what I would prefer to be drinking. I would say this is someone's kind of half flawed homebrew effort. Not the worst thing I've ever tried. Probably better than Keystone Light, but not what I want to be drinking on a Friday or Saturday night. So maybe if you are desperate and traveling through, I don't even know where wouldn't have craft beer at this point. Give this one a sideways thumb. Although there's a little bit of charity involved in that. Uh, there's nothing on this about, uh, about squirting it directly into your mouth. So I'm going to have to assume that's something you can do with these. It's strongly flavored, but it's almost a little like uh, like a Kahlua or a liqueur. It's thick, it's syrupy, it's sweeter than I would have expected. Unlike the Mio, it's not making me uh, feel like I need to call for medical attention. Still, I wouldn't necessarily recommend shooting it directly into your own mouth. Uh, I'm James Norton, Chow.com Super Taster. Please drink real craft beer. I think that's the, the key and support those brewers. Uh, on tap liquid beer enhancer, really interesting. And 50 years from now, people are going to look back on these as a fascinating cultural relic. Uh, I'll see you in a couple more days with more food.